Let's play a game called Where the Hell Are These Free Agent Quarterbacks Gonna End Up At? Yeah. <laughs> this is a good game to play in the offseason. We'll probably play it a good five to six more times <laughs> until decisions are made. Also joining this list of free agent quarterbacks are two quarterbacks that we expect to potentially be on the move, Cam Newton and Alex Smith. Let's start with Alex Smith. Alex Smith, obviously, superstar quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, had his greatest year that he had ever had as a quarterback. Immediately afterwards, he was sent to the Redskins in lieu of Patrick Mahomes to become a starting quarterback. Alex Smith now is to be said to be getting a Super Bowl ring from the Kansas City Chiefs as a thank you for everything he did for them and for Patrick Mahomes. He has a devastating leg injury whenever he's at the Redskins. Now he rehabbed it for an entire year, 18 months, and they're thinking he's going to be back better than ever. Alex Smith says... I want to play quarterback again in the year 2020. With Dwayne Haskins' success last year at the end of the year for the Washington Redskins and a new head coach, will they want to go back and dip the waters in the Alex Smith pool? I, Ron Rivera told us that they will compete. Ron Rivera told us that he enjoyed the fact that Alex Smith was able to help out Patrick Mahomes and compete with him, but let's just assume that there's a chance that Alex Smith is on the move, and if that's the case, Alex Smith ends up at the Chicago Bears with Matt Nagy, who he had at Kansas City, or the Los Angeles Chargers who just feel like a team that Alex Smith could potentially be a quarterback for. Now, let's go to Cam Newton. Cam Newton of the Carolina Panthers got hurt last year. He hadn't been healthy for two years. Ron Rivera also told us that if he's healthy, he will be a game changer yet again. Matt Rule, the new head coach from the Baylor Bears for the Carolina Panthers, said he plans on having an entire workout around Cam Newton to see if he's healthy to evaluate him. New head coach just signed a seven-year deal with a lot of money. Focusing on the future, will he want Cam Newton to be his quarterback possibly let's assume that he potentially gets moved where does he end up at chicago bears <laughs> Or Chicago Bears. <laughs> I think he ends up at the Chicago Bears if he is moved. Number eight, Phillip Rivers. I think Phil Rivers retires. I don't think Phil Rivers does anything. If he doesn't retire after the year that he's had, he refused to move from San Diego to Los Angeles when Spanos decided to move the Chargers out of San Diego to move them to Los Angeles. They couldn't fill up an MLS stadium for a long time. They had a lot of success two years ago until they ran into a buzzsaw in the New England Patriots this past year. Phil Rivers did not look great, and Phil Rivers was notably hating the situation of having to drive from San Diego to Los Angeles every single day for work. He had an awesome sprinter van that he's decked out with film study and all that stuff, but he refused to move his family three hours north of California. Immediately upon the season ending, Phil Rivers moves his team, his family, all the way to Florida to say they're getting closer to family. Mm. White's moved to Florida to retire. <laughs> That's what White's do. Although there is a little bit of interest from the Buccaneers, from what I've been told. That offense is a difficult one. Carson Palmer told us it's not an easy one to figure out. Bruce Aaron's offense. If he does anything, maybe the Buccaneers. I think he's going to end up retiring. Marcus Mariota will end up a backup quarterback somewhere. Ryan Tannehill, I think after the run that he just went on with the Tennessee Titans and the experience that he had in Miami underneath Adam Gase of sucking, I think that he will take a team-friendly deal with the Tennessee Titans to remain there so they can pay Derrick Henry. They can continue to pay, uh, pay pieces around him. In the AFC South, looks like the Tennessee Titans could potentially have a lot of success long-term with Mike Vrabel at the helm. I think Ryan Tannehill has been reborn. He's already made $78 million in his career. He'll pick up another $40 million probably, which is a great chunk of change for real life, not as much for a quarterback life. I think he'll take a team-friendly deal, remain, remain at the Tennessee Titans. Jameis Winston, I have no clue what's going to happen. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen with Jameis Winston. I have no idea what's going to happen with Jameis Winston. Honestly, there is a rumor out there that he's asking for top-tier money. He just threw 30 interceptions. No team's going to do that. He might end up back at the Buccaneers. I don't think he's going to get $35 million or $30 million that he's hoping for, maybe in the 20s millions. I'll be excited to see him in his second year under the Bruce Arians offense, which Carson Palmer said he should make a massive leap. He had a lot of success, threw for a lot of yards, threw for a lot of touchdowns. The Buccaneers surprised a lot of people with how good they were this year. I have no idea if Jameis Winston ends up there or Jameis Winston ends up taking a terrible deal somewhere else. Number four, Dak Prescott. Everybody's saying he's going to get franchise tag for the Dallas Cowboys. A lot of people hate this because they think, what has Dak Prescott done that doesn't warrant a long-term contract with the Dallas Cowboys? 
Dak Prescott has pay, or played for a terrible amount of pay. He was a, a low draft pick. He hasn't had a lot of money. He's the one who forced Tony Romo to go join CBS. He has done nothing short of show up and show out. They just haven't had a lot of success, to be honest with you. Led a number one offense last year. But now, new coach, Mike McCarthy's in there. Everybody knows Mike McCarthy is his own man. Mike McCarthy has had a lot of success with a lot of quarterbacks. Montana, Favre, Rodgers, just to name a couple of them. Will he be willing to sign Dak Prescott long term before ever having a season with Dak Prescott? I don't think so. That's why I think the franchise tag makes a lot of sense for Jerry Jones and for Mike McCarthy, although it might not make sense for Dak Prescott and the fans. I think they're just going to see if Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott can get along. If they can, let's assume that Jerry Jones will sign him long term. I want Dak Prescott to get all the monies because I think he's been underpaid. He's overplayed, all that stuff. But I think this is probably the move that Jerry Jones thinks is right to see if he and McCarthy can get along long because he invested in McCarthy as the face of the franchise for the future. Now you got to see if it works. Let's go to Teddy Bridgewater. I think Teddy Bridgewater ends up with the Indianapolis Colts. Oh, I think Teddy Bridgewater, they already said down the Saints that Taysom Hill is the heir apparent to play quarterback after Drew Brees era is done in New Orleans. Now, you would have thought they would have had him play quarterback this year whenever there was a chance to really see if he would have been able to manage the team and win some games. Teddy Bridgewater did that instead. Sean Payton helped out Teddy Bridgewater because now Teddy Bridgewater's stock as a free agent quarterback is through the roof. He was able to win in a system that's designed strictly for Drew Brees. He had a lot of success before ending up in New Orleans. For, got to remember, before he got injured with the Minnesota Vikings, there was conversations about him being an MVP. I think he potentially ends up with the Indianapolis Indianapolis Colts and I think he would fit in great with the culture I think he is I think he could be the potential missing piece now granted the Colts might stick with Jacoby Brissett give him an entire offseason as starter that's okay I think there is a chance though Teddy Bridgewater ends up in Indianapolis number two Drew Brees I think Drew Brees retires really mm -hmm. I think Drew Brees retires I think if he was going to come back, I think that decision would have already been made. He told us just on Friday at Radio Row that there's a lot that goes into retiring. He's been doing football for three quarters of his life. He said he, 31 years or something he's been playing football. He understands and loves the game. He's done a lot. He's accomplished a lot. He's at the top of every single record book. He's won a Super Bowl. He's regarded as a guy that has revolutionized the NFL and has been a trailblazer. I think he's a good speaker. I think he's smart. He'll probably get on television somewhere and make a good living there. I think he wants to spend a little bit more time with the family potential i think he retires or ends up with the saints again right so yeah. i think he's either retiring mm -hmm. or saints i think that's definitely a lock i'm leaning towards i think he's retired tom brady quarterback of the niners oh. tom brady quarterback <laughs> of the san francisco 49ers hometown team grown up that way or the los angeles chargers or the las vegas raiders or the miami dolphins or the cincinnati Bengals, or the indianapolis colts or the chicago bears or the new england patriots 